original intention was to film this during the day when I had more time. However, life got the better of me with all the various international events that I was attending over the weekend. And I decided to film this now so I could have it uploaded on Monday morning by the time y'all would be probably watching this. So as you can probably tell from my previous chat style um, video that I filmed last week, this is very impromptu. There is no script. So that means I'm talking off the cuff, which is good for me because I have to improvise what I'm going to say instead of reading a script in the background or just memorizing one loosely. So today's topic is all about the importance of rest. And if you come from a athletic background, usually rest is factored in into any work plan that you do when you lift weights or you run or a combination of the two, it doesn't really matter. And the importance of rest cannot be understated because especially coming from a creative standpoint, which is where you're constantly absorbing ideas from material that you read, books, podcasts, movies, and then talking to people that have feedback on your project, etc. The importance of rest is very paramount in the whole creation process. So let me explain. So over the course of the past year, I have been working on my Embassy Life in DC project. It is a sister project that I first started about a year ago, more now actually, probably coming up on a year and a month. But my point is, is that it's been a very delicate balancing act because it's consumed the latter part of my life. And now I have a YouTube channel that I'm also filming content for. And the question why is because I wanted to do something different and have another creative outlet where I would educate people on how to be a content creator, but like also answer a lot of life's existential questions at the same time. So as a content creator, because that's exactly what I am, I don't get paid yet, hopefully. <laughs> um, as a content creator, the importance of rest is pretty well important. And the reason why is because like any human being, you have limits. And once you supersede those limits, you start approaching the, the state of burnout. Now, again, I'm not a millionaire. I'm not a billionaire. I'm not, you know, rich as heck and stuff like that. So for all the entrepreneurship gurus that are out there that constantly say you have to hustle, 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 there is no rest. There are no days off. Yeah, that's a complete lie. Okay, like, um, again, I'm not the world's richest person. I'm not rich anyway. I wish I was, but I'm not. And I can definitely tell you that, you know, it doesn't matter what you do. It's like if you work a normal nine to five with 40 hours a week, if you're doing a creative project that you spend a lot of time on with your hobbies, you need some degree of rest in order to approach a problem or come up with a solution from a fresh perspective. So let me come up with a quick example. So recently, as part of like the whole mindset shift with like my Embassy Life in DC project, I came up with the idea to design various digital products, like for example, a guide for all the cultural centers in DC. And it took me a while to get to that point because I was still in the phase where I was just creating content and that was pretty much it. But I quickly realized that the next evolution of the, of the project was creating digital guides that the public could use, the DC public, mind you, if it's used globally, that's even better, <laughs> um, that they, the public could use in order to, you know, just use it for educational purposes and just be aware of what's going on in the city. So it took me a while to get to that point because I was spending a lot of weekends you know, creating content, scheduling it, trying to come up with ideas, taking courses, and I was constantly exhausted. And by the time next week rolled around and I had to actually work during the week, I wondered why I was so dang tired. And no, it wasn't that I was physically exhausting myself. It was more of the mental headspace where I wasn't taking any time off during the weekends. So as a counter to that, I quickly realized that it's the law of diminishing returns for anyone that doesn't know what that is. Basically, the more effort you put into something, the less good in terms of quality the outcome is going to be. So typically it's a graph like this. Once my editing stills get to the point where I can actually replicate that on a video, you could probably see it better. 
but the x-axis would be time and then the y-axis would be quality. So the irony is, is that the old saying less is more applies to this concept very, very truly actually. So at the very start, your focus is uh, pretty intense, you know, but brief. And then as time goes on, it goes like that, where your focus just decreases over time because you're a human being. So this holds even more true if you're trying to do something consistently for a year plus, like I was. And so what I came up with was the solution to that problem was essentially taking a day off uh, on the weekend, maybe two if I had to, so taking the whole weekend off to just refuel in terms of like mental creativity, mental patience, and just fortitude to come back to the whole thing overall. Like, look, I love creating content and I love going to events and stuff like that as well, meeting people, documenting everything and stuff like that, but you need a break from life, let's be honest. With all the stuff that's happening in the world nowadays, you need a break, seriously. So, you know, I'm a extroverted introvert where I love the company of people around me, but simultaneously, I don't mind spending long periods of time by myself, especially if it's a hobby of mine that I really enjoy and do, you know, am passionate about. So, whether you're an athlete or you're a creator or you're a you know finance hustler bro working on Wall Street, you need break, like rest, in order to make sure that you come back to your maximum potential when it comes to creating anything or just working in general. So I quickly realized that very quickly where I was not taking any time off, I was spending my weekends working on just creating content, scheduling, etc. And I realized that without rest, obviously, and I'm not talking about sleep, I'm talking about going to the library and just reading mindlessly or taking a long walk throughout your city and like getting your mind off of things. Heck, it could even be working out. You know what I mean? Just getting your mind off of everything so that by the time you come back, you can approach problems from a new perspective. So the importance of rest cannot be overestimated. Like I can tell you that I took some time off this weekend when it came to, you know, my Embassy Life in DC project and the YouTube channel a little bit, you know, but it's important to do so because you're not a machine unless like we get to the point where AI like can actually, you know, do the work for us and stuff like that, which it might be, you never know, in five to 10 years. But if it's the human creating everything, then you need to take rest because you got to come back fresh. You know what I mean? So I learned that very quickly when it came to the whole content creation process. And it especially holds true if you want to do it long term. Like there's a one of the creators that I follow right now, Dan Co. Uh, I know that I constantly reference him like throughout like the videos and stuff like that, but just bear with me. So his entire point is like, if you're going to do something, if you can't imagine yourself doing it for like five years, 10 years, and that's a long time, like what's the point, you know? Um, a lot of it stems from that, that quick fix mentality where it's just like you do it for a month and you switch over to the next hobby and then you don't really, you don't really get the rewards from sticking it out, sticking it out long term. So anyway. It's just that if you're going to do something for a long period of time, then you need to make sure that you rest because that's also an integral part of work. So beyond rest, also doing something long-term sustainably is what we all want to do and also develop, you know, concepts into projects, projects into monetizable avenues and then, you know, monetizable avenues into whatever you want out of the rest of your life. So another big, uh, concept that's been like floating in my mind is thinking what I want out of life. And I realize like those two topics are completely different, but you know, one's rest and then the other is going to be about autonomy over your life. So I'm rereading a book for the second time. And when you reread a book, you gain more insight and perspective uh, compared to the first time. And that's especially true because I blasted through this book <laughs> literally in probably a couple of hours because I was on the Metro and I didn't have anything else to do. So the funny part is, is that I didn't remember anything. And that's bad because, you know, I think I just got so tired that <laughs> I would literally just like was flipping through the book and I was like, I don't remember any of this. And I spent three hours just reading this. Anyway, the point is, is that it made me think like what you truly want out of life. And 
it goes back to the question like, what do you want out of life in terms for yourself? So the answers are very different. Like, for example, some people say financial freedom. Like, I want, I want to be financially free. And I don't want to work a typical nine to five. I want to work for myself. I want to have my own business, et cetera, et cetera. Others say they want more creative autonomy where they can, you know, create for a living. Uh, they can be an artist full time and they don't have to worry about making sure they pay the rent and they don't have to work that, you know, nine to five that they don't want to do. Um, so there's creative freedom. There's financial freedom. It's funny. Other people in my life have also said spiritual freedom, like they want to be they want to find the answer to the pondering question that all humans think about after a while, why are we here? And that spiritual freedom enables them to embark on a journey to do so. So I you know, thought about my own response when a friend of mine reflected the question uh, back to me. And he was like, well, you asked me, now what about you? What do you want? And at first, the answer was financial freedom. And I was like, yeah, I want to you know, I want to have, I think the concept is like F you money. I don't want to curse because YouTube is really weird about like the whole curse stuff, but it's just like, you know, F you money where the point is like, you know, you can tell someone to F off or whatever. Like if they, if they tell you to do something and you don't want to do it, you know, it's like, I don't need this job. I can literally quit it like right now. <laughs> it's like, boo. <laughs> anyway. So like, I thought that was my first answer with like F you money. And I was like, I want to be so goddamn rich that, you know, I can tell, you know, anyone to leave me alone and I, I want to do the things that I want to do in life. And money is important, but, you know, don't delude yourself into thinking that it's not because that's the way the world works. Anyone that says money doesn't matter is frankly lying to you or they're so rich that their concept of money has no value to them whatsoever. There are people like that in the world. I was watching the son of this billionaire, I think, forget his name. He might not even have his YouTube channel anymore, but basically he was so wealthy. He had all these like cars, he had all these like mansions, he had all these pretty girlfriends and all this stuff. And the concept of money was so uh, little to him because basically he had been given everything in his life. But the guy was an accomplished filmmaker and I think he's trying to do his own thing, which is pretty cool. So gotta respect the hustle. So at first I thought it was financial freedom, you know, and obviously I still want that to some degree, but the real answer is just autonomy. And let me explain what I mean by that. So when I mean autonomy, I mean, you want to have so much time and control over your life that you could do whatever you want throughout the day. And Financial freedom, financial autonomy, creative autonomy, those are all derivatives. So like, for example, if you're working in the morning and you want to go to the gym at 12, but you can't because your nine to five like prevents you from doing so, that's the type of autonomy that I want. Or if your family wants to take a spontaneous trip to Costa Rica or something like that, you know, and they're just like, oh, it was completely last minute. Uh, can you make it? And you're like, actually, yes, I can, because I have so much autonomy over my life that I can do what I want when I want to. So that's the answer that I thought about many days after the question. I was like, it's not about necessarily just financial freedom slash autonomy or creative autonomy, creative freedom. The answer is to simply have autonomy over your own life. And it's an unfortunate reality that the nine to five job prevents you from having that because you know, you got bills to pay just like anyone else. I gotta have a roof over my head and you simply need to provide for others if you have that with your family, your kids. And I just have myself, so I'm thankful for that. So autonomy is the answer to that question. What do you want out of life? And it's funny because others would respond a career, others would respond a family, others would respond a house. And my answer to that is autonomy. So that's the overarching answer to that. So we covered rest and we covered what he wants out of life for an evening chat on a rainy night in Washington, DC. So like and subscribe for more because someone told me to say that. Apparently that boosts the number of views that the algorithm <laughs> gives you for on YouTube. And we will journey into more questions as we go along this week. I plan to cover some more videos on, for example, I watched this very interesting video about the 
high stack skill sets that can make you a better high value person for 2024. One of those concepts was artificial intelligence tools. And yes, before you, you know, uh, roll your eyes and thumb your nose up at me, I know, I know, AI is like everywhere nowadays and stuff like that. But I think I'm going to try to make it more personal to me because I use some AI tools for like the creative projects that I do, you know, mid journey for image generation and inspiration or chat GPT to generate titles for like a newsletter or even the YouTube title, you know what I mean? I don't really use it a lot too much, but that's besides the point. So stay tuned for videos like that. They'll probably be shorter and less, you know, uh, rambly, <laughs> more on script and stuff like that. And um, yeah, just a quick note before I uh, log off on the video, uh, I'm pleased with how the channel is growing. We have 11 subscribers now. Oh my God. And it's only been like a week. So thank you to everyone that's been following. Um, literally, like it, maybe it's because of all the comments that I leave on other channels and um, people from maybe like my other project are filtering in and stuff. But yeah, thank you. I really, really do appreciate the comments on like the videos. Um, I apologize if, you know, this is not really professional. I'm still learning as I go along how to, you know, look at the camera, how to talk properly, not to say um, but. Uh, hand gestures, working on that too. But yeah, just thank you. It, it, it really means a lot. And I think I will try to publish my, like the minimum is like one video. Max would probably be like three with like my schedule and just wanting to live life. So if I can do three videos a week, honestly, that would be grand. You know what I mean? <laughs> so anyway, have a great night wherever you are or day, wherever you are and uh, stay tuned for more.